We have heard of a table, a place of rest, healing, and peace. Some have said that it doesn't exist, that it's folklore, a fairy tale. Yet we have heard the stories of this table and our desperate souls long for it. When we are overwhelmed by the chaos around and inside of us, the table seems like a distant dream, a utopia to which we cannot attain. Our souls long for peace, a place of refuge far above the unrelenting waves, far above the circumstances of life. We reach for it, but we cannot grasp it. Who will rescue us from this turmoil? Who will offer us the peace our souls desire? We look to the table for freedom. Freedom from guilt, freedom from addictions, freedom from the burdens of our own creation. But we become transfixed by the flames and insensitive to the destruction that is the consequence of our own choices. But even if we could feel the flame and acknowledge its destruction, we still feel unworthy to turn from it. After all, we were the ones who caused it. The deeds we've done, the words we've said, the places we've been. We are trapped in a cage of our own guilt, encasing our hearts like a plague. Desperate to be free, but unable to release ourselves. Some of us are trapped in cages of no fault of our own. Our bodies seem to constantly battle with illness and disease. Our minds are assaulted day after day, troubled by crippling fear and anxiety. We feel helpless, alone, afraid. We hear of the healing that the table brings, but the walls that close in around us make it impossible to believe that there is a remedy to our brokenness. We search for meaning in the wilderness of this world. We hear the promises of purpose from the people and places that surround us. Come here and you'll find the way, they say assuredly. Follow me and discover who you are, bidding us to follow. Come over here. So we turn to them and we try and we try and we try, turning from one thing to the next. Follow me. Thinking these empty promises will give us the identity we crave, but they leave us more lost than when we first began. Who will rescue us from this turmoil? Who will offer us the purpose our souls desire? Come follow me. But then, come. A voice rises above and silences the others. Come. A voice of comfort, a voice of reassurance, a voice that sounds unlike any other we have heard before. Through the noise, we hear his still small voice that bids us to come. We hear the call to come. We hear the call to sit. We couldn't get to this table on our own. Our darkness kept us from it. Though we did not deserve it, he did something unprecedented to bring us near. Come. He pulled us out of the chaos. The fire that once destroyed us is now replaced by a fire that cleanses us of our sin. Come. Our loneliness and desperation is met by the voice of the one whose presence changes everything. Come. Though we were lost and without direction or purpose, we have found our way in Him. He gave us life through His death. 
The burdens we once carried now fall at his feet, and we have been given new life, new joy, and a new beginning as he rose again in new life. We pushed him away, but he never gave up on us. He is a king, not like the ones of fairy tale and folklore. He is the Lamb of God. His name is Jesus. Come to the table.